Hello, Paul is best for UK here and welcome to another video. This is Friday's game of day for the Dragon 32. So we're in Dragon 32 mode and uh, we're going to be looking at a really uh, impressive game which I, I've, I've had pre-tested before making this video and it's really impressive for this computer and I'll show you it now. This is a game called... Where's it gone on my list of ROMs? trying to find it sorry hold on a minute I'll try and find it yeah backtrack there it is a game called backtrack so let's load it up this is it it's in by incentive software and by CM Andrew that sounded very spectrum like didn't it okay so this is really impressive and if you've never played this on the Dragon 32 I think you will agree it's pretty impressive for the limitations of the hardware let's press a key so you get to choose, it's a keyboard game and you get to choose the cursor keys or you can use your own defined keys. So I'm just going to use cursor keys, that's, that's good enough for me. Tells you the controls as well, which is quite obvious for the cursor keys, but you can change your mind or start the game. So let's do that. Now, this introduction shows him pushing into the maze. So it is a maze game. Now, there's a map. I don't think I've got the map yet though. And look at this, look how look how the this the 3D effect is on such a limited hardware. It's really cool isn't it? And the way it sort of has like a really 3D effect, I think. Is it actually 3D? I don't actually know, but if it's not they've really programmed it well. Look the way the doors sort of go into perspective and then out of perspective again. So yeah, what you've got to do on the game I believe is find all the keys. Uh now M isn't working for the map, so you maybe you have to collect the map first. I'm not quite sure on that. But yeah, I'm quite actually uh, very impressed with this. Uh, Dragon 32 games tend to be quite basic, but this seems quite, quite like they're really pushing the hardware a bit. So uh, just like any good maze, it's, there's loads of different rooms to go through, and we can't find. We have no idea where we're going. So let's try back down this way. So the game's in like a sort of 3D top perspective. Ah, there's there's a key. So we've got the first key, so can I look at the map yet? Oh, I can now. Okay, the map doesn't show you the keys. But now, once you've collected the first key, you can look at the map at any time. So it looks like there's an exit point there. So let's try that. So let's go for that. So where are we on the map? They represented by that green dot. So let's go left, and then up. Is it? There's a skeleton there. Someone must have died in this catacombs of mazes. So down. Right. Let's go left, and then oh shit! There's baddies on the game. I didn't realise. Watch out for that snake guy there. You haven't got any weapons or anything, so... Oh, no, not another one. Oh, cherry. We'll have that. That'll give us some more power. So this is looks like the way out the maze, maybe. No, I can't use the key. So you probably do have to collect all four keys. I haven't read the instructions, as you can probably tell, of the game. Now, I do notice that will willpower on the left is going down slowly, so you've got to be careful. So it looks like you've got some sort of willpower against you on this game. Willpower to solve the maze. Ah, there's another key. Oh, you have to collect keys in order. It makes it even interesting, more dynamic now. So that was number three key. So you can't collect number three until you collect number two. So, oh my God, this is a difficult game, isn't it? I don't know where the keys could be. Oh, there's four, so we know where four is. I suppose if you look at the map and then you sort of like remember where they are on the map, you'll be able to sort of go back to the uh, where they was if you if you've got a good memory of that map, because the keys do not show on the map, of course. So let's try down here. Where haven't we been yet? I'm trying to find key number two. Oh, there's nothing in there. Well, I'm really impressed with that uh, side of 3D effect. It, it's really it really looks apart with a cherry there that is a cherry there that means we haven't been here doesn't it unless the cherries respawn i don't know so yes okay i can't seem to find number two it must be somewhere around here really big catacomb of maze where are we on the map 
the right here. Have we tried going all the way across here yet? And then up. Let's give that a try. No, nothing up there. So the game the game graphics are excellent for what they are. I think that 3D effect is really, really, really well programmed. Uh, there's not much sound in the game, just the odd beeps and blobs. So the audio isn't that great. I don't know. Whenever you do that, it does that question mark. Let's try up here. Have we been up here yet? And then across here. So yeah, that key too is hiding somewhere. It's just a matter of searching the entire maze and then finding all the keys, but you've got to find them in order, so that adds a bit of a dynamic to the difficulty of the game. But I don't think the keys move, so if you could remember where that was, you, then you can sort of go for it again once you've got the, the previous key in the order of sequence. Where's that blasted key to? It must be somewhere around here. Having a good search here. Right, let's try. Tell you what, let's go up. I think I know somewhere I haven't been yet. Left, then up. And then right, up and then right. And then up or down here. Have we checked here yet? Yeah. There's nothing there. Running out of world power now, so yeah. We want to be careful we're not uh, going to run out here. So it's not there. Oh, actually, have we checked up there yet? Nothing there. Quite tedious to try and find the keys, isn't it? Nothing in there. There's four. Did I check the left here? So key four's there, but we can't pick that up. Yeah, having a real game trying to find key too. They've hidden that well, didn't they? Shame there's no hint on it. Hint system. Looks like there's three. Ah, the snake's got me. Oh, he just hit me. Game over. <laughs> so, yes, that's. I thought that was very impressive. And that's a great game for Friday night, I think. Backtrack. Uh, I never heard of that one before. I don't know if it was ever released on any other system. But yeah, that's very impressive for the limitations of the Dragon 32. And I'm going to give that one a massive 9 out of 10. I just love that 3D effect on it. And I think it, look, it looks and plays well. It's got a really decent frame rate. I think it uses wireframe or something for that, like Vector almost. So, uh, yep, have a pleasant Friday evening. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.